Welcome back everyone, I am Naman and in our last video we delved into the intricacies of the SageMaker service discussing its architecture and the key services it offers. Now let's take a step forward with a hands-on demo where we will dive deep into practical applications and showcase how SageMaker can streamline the machine learning workflows. Get ready to witness the power and versatility of this platform. The only requirement for this video is having an AWS account. If you don't have one, don't worry. Creating an AWS account is a fairly simple process and all you need is your email address, mobile number and your credit or debit card info for verification purposes. Now let's get started. Begin with SageMaker, navigate to the machine learning section in the services tab at the top left corner of the page. Here you will discover a variety of services offered by AWS to streamline your machine learning tasks. Among these services, you will find SageMaker. As discussed in our previous video, SageMaker is a fully managed service by AWS for building, training and deploying machine learning models. It provides a comprehensive set of tools for every step of the ML workflow from data labeling and model training to deployment and monitoring. Referring to our previous video, the user interface layer of the SageMaker architecture consists of two vital components, SageMaker Notebooks and SageMaker Studio. Now we'll focus on SageMaker Notebooks, delving into its features and functionalities to showcase how it enhances the machine learning development experience. As we explore the left navigation pane, you will see the Notebook section. Within this section, we'll navigate to Notebook Instances to continue with our demonstration. To create a Notebook Instance, simply click on the Create Notebook Instance button. On this page, you will be prompted to provide a name for the instance you are creating. For the Notebook Instance type, you can keep the default settings initially. While Elastic Inference is a valuable feature for optimizing inference costs, for this video, we'll leave this option at None since we will be focusing on learning a small piece of code without inference acceleration. For the platform identifier, we'll opt for JupyterLab 3, the updated version. As for permissions, we'll leave them unchanged. Now click on Create Notebook Instance. Please note that it may take approximately 3 to 4 minutes for the instance to be created. Once the instance is fully created, the status will change to In Service. At this point, you can access the instance through either Jupyter Lab or Jupyter Notebook Inferences. For this tutorial, we'll utilize Jupyter Notebooks. To create a new file in the instance, click on the New button and choose the desired environment. For this demonstration, we'll select Conda-Python 3. This will launch the Notebook instance. After launching the Jupyter Notebook, you can customize its name by clicking on the section next to the Jupyter logo. Initially, a new notebook is labeled as untitled, but you can rename it as desired. For this demonstration, I have named it linear regression, as we will be executing a basic linear regression code to help you get familiar with the interface. As for any machine learning project, we will begin by importing the necessary libraries and modules, NumPy for numerical computations and array manipulations, matplotlib for data visualization, we'll import train test split for data splitting, linear regression for modeling and mean squared error for assessing model accuracy from scikit-learn, a library dedicated to machine learning tasks. Now we'll generate a set of data to train our model on. For our input variable, we will utilize the np.random.rand function, which generates a 2D NumPy array with 100 rows and 1 column, containing random numbers between 0 and 1. For the y variable, we established a linear relationship with the variable x and introduced a noise component. The np.random.randn function produces an array of random numbers from a standard distribution, meaning having average 0 and standard deviation 1. The code first divides the dataset x and y 
into training and test sets with 80% allocated for training and 20% for testing using the train test split function. Now it utilizes the matplotlib library to create a scatter plot, visually representing the dataset, enabling us to inspect the relationship between the input and the output variables. Then the code initializes a linear regression model and fits it to the training data, allowing a model to learn the relationship between the input features Xtrain and the target variable Ytrain. Subsequently, the train linear regression model is used to make predictions on the testing data, that is Xtest. Finally, the code calculates the mean squared error between the actual target variable values Ytest and the predicted values Ypred to provide a quantitative measure of how well our model fits the data. At last, it provides a visual representation of how well the linear regression model fits the data. SageMaker provides a variety of built-in models and machine learning workflows accessible from the SageMaker examples tab. Here you will find an extensive collection of pre-built Jupyter notebooks ready to be incorporated into your projects based on specific needs. In these notebooks, you will discover comprehensive code with explanations covering the entire life cycle of a model, from selecting a model to tuning it and ultimately deploying it. You can either reuse the code or refer to it in case you encounter any difficulties. Now let's shift our focus to SageMaker Studio, which is an integrated development environment for machine learning that provides a single web-based interface to manage all aspects of the machine learning workflow from data exploration, model development to model training and deployment all within a unified environment. To start with SageMaker Studio, initially we have to set up a domain which is a dedicated workspace or environment where users can collaborate, manage resources and work on machine learning projects. It provides a centralized location for organizing users data, models, and other resources within SageMaker Studio or Notebook instances. To create a domain, navigate to the Domains section in the Admin Configurations panel on the left. Then click on Create Domain, choose the Setup for a Single User option and proceed by clicking on Create Domain. It may take some time for the domain to become fully operational, usually 5 to 8 minutes. Once completed, the status will change from pending to in service. Once the domain is operational, head to the studio section where you will select the created domain and also create a user profile. To set up a user profile, simply proceed with the default settings and click next at the bottom of the page to continue. Finally, simply click on the open studio button to access the SageMaker Studio. Here is an overview of the SageMaker Studio. Under the Applications section, you will find JupyterLab, offering a versatile environment for data science workflows. Our Studio, tailored for R programming, Canvas, facilitating no code ML, and Code Editor, an IDE enabling code writing and execution within the SageMaker environment. Additionally, Studio Classic is available for users who prefer the older version of the SageMaker Studio. On the left navigation panel of SageMaker, you will find the Data section, where Data Wrangler is located, a tool we discussed in our previous video. Utilizing a visual interface known as the Canvas, Data Wrangler simplifies data preparation tasks such as cleaning, transforming, and formatting for machine learning models. Within this section, you will find numerous examples and tutorials to help you master data cleaning and transformation for various data types such as tabular, image, text, and time series data. AutoML to build, train, and deploy models with minimal human interference. To learn more about experiments, you can refer to our previous video of the series. 
SageMaker Jumpstart offers a diverse selection of pre-trained models from organizations like Meta, AI21, TensorFlow and others ready for public use. These models are fully customizable, allowing you to train, evaluate and deploy them according to your specific requirements and use cases. SageMaker endpoints execute machine learning models in real time, making them accessible for seamless integration into applications. In summary, Amazon SageMaker simplifies the entire machine learning process from data preparation to model deployment, enabling swift innovation and driving meaningful results. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do hit the like and subscribe button. You can click on the link below to know more about Thinknix technologies. We shall see you in our upcoming videos. Stay tuned for more updates.